Primary flight control is very similar to what you would find at a control tower at a regular airport, except our airport moves through the water. The man in charge is the air boss. We call him the boss for short. He is in charge of all the servicing and maintenance of aircraft on the hangar deck and the flight deck. He is also the controlling authority for the carrier aircraft zone, which is 2,500 feet above us and five miles around us. As you can see, he has a commanding view of the flight deck. Above the boss's head is a conflag station. This controls the firefighting areas on the flight deck if necessary. Just below the conflag station, we see a flat camera monitor, which displays all the landings and takeoffs that we have aboard the ship. Moving farther around to the right, he has numerous communication systems, uh, both VHF and UHF to talk to aircraft up in the air, to uh, internal people that he talks to on the flight deck who are handling the aircraft, and he has a telephone directly to the captain's bridge and also to the LSO platform. The seat next to the air boss is the mini boss. Both of these men are senior commanders. Both have had command of a tailhook squadron. They have worked extensively around the ship. They know what it's supposed to be like. Both of them must be either a naval flight officer or a pilot, and they are here to make sure that there's safe operations on the flight deck itself. The MINI is in charge of the quality of training of 250 young men and women who work on the flight deck, average age 19. During normal cycle operations, the MINI boss will concentrate on the takeoffs, and the boss will be back aft looking at the aircraft that are landing. It's a very difficult position. It's a high-charged environment, and these men make sure it's done safely, but they need help. And the first help that we're going to talk about is the aircraft launch and status board. The petty officer who's in charge of keeping the status of the board is talking to the air traffic controllers down inside the ship. He is putting the current information on the board, the event number, the type of aircraft that's flying, and the air crew involved. And this board actually swings over this way, and so the air boss and mini boss can take a look at the board and figure out what's going on. In order to do that, this petty officer needs to write backwards. As we enter primary flight control, we see a bank of instruments on our left side. The first one is the flight deck control lighting. We do the center line lighting, deck edge lighting. There's even major floodlights off the island, and the air boss can control the intensity of all the lighting on the ship from up here in Pride Fly. We see four orange discs here on the resting gear monitor panel. This is a panel where it displays the maximum trap weight for each type of aircraft. We want each aircraft to roll out 340 feet. We set the maximum trap weight for that aircraft in the resting gear engine rooms. He must inform the air boss that the proper setting has been established prior to the aircraft landing. We have a Fresnel lens operator standing behind a panel and he looks out at the aircraft to make sure that the Fresnel lens is set at a three and a half degree glide slope or the glide slope that the air boss requires. The Fresnel lens is a beam of light that goes behind the ship. It gives the pilot a cone to fly down to the number two target wire. If he keeps the beam in the right position, he will pick up the number two wire. He will roll out 340 feet. Each aircraft is of different size and different length, and we need to make sure that what the pilot sees will give the lowest part of his aircraft clearance of 12 feet from the hook to the ramp. We need to use a roll angle to adjust that eye level for the pilot itself. This young man will have to look at the airplane. He will determine what setting it needs to be. He will press the button, and that will give us the proper hook to ramp clearance of 12 feet. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and we hope you have a good day.